It's mid-morning at the Roots Hair Salon when Valentine, a regular customer, walks in. Today, however, she's not here to do her hair or buy anything. How much are they worth? Uh, this looks are worth. Yeah. Ah, okay. So I'd like to sell them. That's about three hundred dollars, and the reason she's ah, selling okay. them, uh, of course, to make money. Kenya's history with dreadlocks has not always been rosy. Pre-independent fighters against British rule identified with them. Hard to believe, but in the eighties, growing dreadlocks and sporting a beard was viewed as anti-establishment and could lead to arrest. But now, there's a new trend if it is to be believed. A young lady had her locks cut off in a bus without her knowledge. But Steve Roots, proprietor of Roots Salon, that deals exclusively with dreadlocks, has his doubts. You know, once you move, yeah. my business will go wrong or something. Yeah. So it's not really possible if, uh, okay. unless someone knocks and conscious and then cut them, right? But he admits there is a motivating factor. Like what I'm doing now is American sister locks. This uh, fresh one can cost from the, the lowest is 35,000 to 70,000. Yes. But the normal dreadlocks, the traditional dreadlocks, um, maybe to 3,000 fresh yeah. and 1,500 to a twist. And as if to back that fact, while we're there, a young lady walks in looking to purchase used locks. So despite our best efforts, it's been really difficult to confirm that story. But if you're really worried about your dreadlocks being stolen, my advice, just go bold. He doesn't agree. Robert Nagila, CGTN, Nairobi.